Right, we're in crystal mode and uh, I did a thing. <laughs> Look, I wanted to make an, um, you know, a, a proper template for the base of this little crystal mould because it's a beautiful mould. I love it. See how sparkly even the silicon is. So anyway, yes, I wanted to make a, a template for this so I could cut exactly the right size, you know, various shiny things to put in the back of it. So I thought, well, I keep, this is a constant problem. I just get fed up of drawing around them. And anyway, so I got myself some tracing paper and I traced it. I then scanned that and I uploaded that into um, that one of those remove background free thingies on the internet, took the background out. So I just got the line. I then loaded it up into Cricut Design Space and uh, shrunk it slightly. Then I got my Cricut machine to cut these. Now this is window film. It still seems to have the backing on it, but that doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, yeah, they're the right shape and size. So there we go. Let's see if they work. They're still on my mat, as you can see. This is a, one of the extra strong grip mats. So let's try pulling one off and we will see if it fits comes off easy enough off the mat yep there we go yeah it's got like a, a sticky backing on it because this is window film you're supposed to peel this off to uh, stick it to your windows however hang on which way around is it it's that way oh hang on which way uh. <laughs> honestly there is some science to this somewhere there's the pointy bit, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I've done? I've mirrored it, haven't I? It's up that way, isn't it? Is it that way? No. Huh? <sighs> there it is. Got it. That's how it goes. So it just fits just inside. Look, there we are. So let's have a go and see what happens. Um, I will peel the backing off when it comes to actually putting it in. Because then I shall have a nice clear surface. <laughs> All right, going to get some gloves on and we will mix up some resin and uh, away we go. All right, gloves as always, folks. Oh, we've got something funny to show you as well. Yeah, got to show you something funny. Um, I made one of these last night. Well, I demoulded it last night with a smaller piece of this shiny film in the back and left it on a heat mat. Well, the blooming thing melted, didn't it? And now it's stuck to my... Oh, it's stuck to some wipes now. But look, I've got a sparkly blob. <laughs> I think that's funny. I don't know if you do. Anyway, right, <laughs> let's get on with this. So I'm going to want some, some resin. And I think I'm going to use a deep pour resin simply because they degas quicker. Um, and it, yeah, that does mean it'll take longer to, for it to actually cure. I've been playing recently with this one from Entropy Resins. So let's go with this. It's a two to one, this is, which always is quite more for me, takes a bit more brain power. Because I'm a bit hard of thinking where maths is concerned, but generally I think I've got it sussed uh, in this little these little jugs. Now I'm not going to put any colour in this, any tint, because I want to just let the colour of that little piece of um, window film do its thing. So I'm just going to mix this up, and I will be back with you shortly. Right, stirring away here, trying to be a bit more sensible than I usually am and stir a little more slowly. Um, you'll see, because this is a deep pour resin, it's a lot runnier. This means it doesn't gather bubbles as much. And the ones that it does gather, it clears quite quickly. So that's good. It's nice to use. It doesn't stink too much either, and I don't have allergic reactions to this one, which is bonus although of course i have got all my you know usual ppe gear going on 
So yeah, it's a runnier resin. Now, the result of this is that it will take an awful lot longer to cure. However, I think it's worth it. I can. It's only little, this crystal mould, so I can push it to one side and it can be quietly curing while I do other things. Not a problem. So yeah, the the um the trick I've done with a Cricut machine. If if any of us, if any of you have got this actual mould, this exact one, and would like uh, access to the file I made for making a whole sheet of these, as you'll see, that's that's how that map was done. That's a whole sheet. Um, then let me know because I will. I'm quite happy to share that with you. But obviously, it's only going to work for this exact mould. So if you've got this exact one. Um, then shout up. I'll, I'll put a link on somewhere uh, in the description for this particular mould so you can uh, make sure it's the right one because I haven't got the rest yet. It's costing me a lot to get these imported from America over to the to England so um, yeah it'll, it'll be a while before I can afford another one but they're so beautiful I'm, I'm generally I think I'm going to collect the whole set. Right, okay, I think that's going to be good enough. Just going to put my stick down, having cleaned it to get a cloth. Still using Wonder Wipes. Can't recommend these highly enough, they're really good. And don't stink like baby wipes do. I think they might be alcohol wipes, I'm not sure. Anyway, right, we're going to pour this in. First thing I'm going to do is just give it a little spritz with the with some alcohol spray. And that is just to try to make sure that I don't get any bubbles in these points. And then the thing is going to be to just drizzle it in slowly, um, like so. I'm trying to make sure it gets into all of those points. Because you can get a little stick and poke around in there, a micro brush or something, to try to make sure you haven't got any trap bubbles. But... If you do, just be very, very careful because this mould, uh, like many moulds, uh, is very shiny. That's how you get your sparkle. And of course, if you damage, if you scratch the mould, which is quite easy to do, it's going to ruin it. Right now, I'm not going to fill it quite to the top, or am I? Uh, yeah, nearly to the top. Not quite to the top, not quite completely, because um, I do want to be able to top it up afterwards. Now I've got to remember which way around this was again, haven't I? Da, 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 da. Oh, blimey. You know what? I should have put it down the right way around. That would have been great, wouldn't it? Ah, there it is. Now, this is nice and see-through, so I can see whether I've got bubbles trapped or not. And because it is this deep pour resin, um, I haven't got any, which is great. So there we go, I've laid it down onto the surface and as it's sat so nice and flat, I'm going to uh, just go straight in and put some resin over the top. I was going to wait, but you know, that looks like it's working so nicely. So yeah, if anybody wants that uh, file, if you have got this exact mould, um, then um, I will... So say if you shout up, I'll, I'll give you the link because you'll be able to get at it in Cricut Design Space if I make it available, won't you? For those of you who've got such gadgets, I think you'd possibly be able to download it and use it with other machines too if you've got a silhouette or whatever. I think so anyway. I've never used one of those, so I don't really know for sure, but I think you can. Right, so that's just put a good layer of that in. I'm going to push it to one side because the other thing I wanted to try... Um, was I've got some little boozies, little boozy inserts. These are bought ones. You've probably seen my ones I've been using with my own things recently that I've made myself, but I kind of wanted to try one of these. And while I've got a bit of the deep pour on the go, it seemed like the opportunity. See, that looks as if it's quite sparkly too. I can't remember where I got these from, but I'll let you know. It might be from pouring your heart out. I honestly can't remember. There we go. Been meaning to do one of these for ages. So, actually, you know what? I'm wondering if one of my own druses would fit better. Hmm. 
Hmm, probably, but hey, let's just go for it. And I'm just going straight in with clear here and I'm going to mix up a bit more. Now, this is a dragon egg mold, as you can see. And so, uh, yeah, it takes quite a lot of resin. So actually using the deep pour is probably a good idea because it is quite deep. And also dropping a druzy in it is probably quite a good idea because it's... Um, let's try and get this mix right. There we are. Because it uh, it will then use less resin. <laughs> so I'm going to stir this up again. Back with you in a second. Okay, got some more mixed up there. Now what I'm going to do with this, because I don't want to get bubbles stuck in this. So again, a little spray. Right, I'm just wondering how much of this to put and will it set, will it float? Um, I'm hoping it'll float. Yeah, looking promising. I'll look up for, or is it? I'll look up for you where I got these um, little druzies from. I'm now wondering if I need to let this thicken a little bit first. Don't know. It is sinking, isn't it? Oh, well, let's let it sink and see what happens. OK, no, I'm going to chicken out here. I think that needs to be used with a thicker resin or let it stand for a bit. So I'm going to clean him up. And we will go back to plan A and I'll use my one of my own druzies. Yeah, we use that for something else. Right, where was I? I'm going to fill this up now. Might not have quite enough resin here to do the full half, we'll see. Don't know. Look at the mess I'm making. Oh, God. You know, people see my cars and think, I wonder her house must be immaculate, because look at her cars. No, it's really not. <gasps> How have I got black marks? Where have I got black marks from? There are now black marks on this crystal. Oh, well, we're not going to see them, are we? OK, let's give this a little spray with the alcohol again, just to take the bubbles off. And it looks like that is pretty crystal clear. And bubble free so i'm just going to drop one of my one of my homemade druzies druzy inserts in the top and you'll see i'm kind of bending it up like a taco <laughs> um can't think how else to ex describe it and that's because i don't want to get bubbles stuck under it now this immediately has partially sunk yeah. however if it only sinks a little bit Oh, look, it's covering it all over now. If it only sinks a little bit, that's not a problem because we can pick off the surplus off the back. So I'm just going to leave these now and we'll see what happens, basically. And I'm going to go and finish cleaning up that other, other druzy. Yeah, we'll do something else with this little guy. I think I probably need to just use a thicker resin because he's quite chunky and he sank. So, uh, yeah, a thicker resin or just let it sit a bit first. Whereas these, because they're quite lightweight, they float. We'll see. Anyway, there we are. And I'm going to keep coming back and pushing this down to make sure it stays put. Right, basically then, I'm going to see you for the D-mould. See you later. Right, time for the exciting bit. This has taken a good two and a half days to cure. I knew it would because it's a deep pour resin um, and it's just very slightly sticky still. Not, re um, not really, no, it's okay. But let's see what we've got. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and that is just window film. Amazing. I don't usually worry quite so much about it get, getting it right up to the corners but I think with this one as I have that's made quite a difference so I'm just going to pop him down there and get some proper photos later right let's get the egg out now this is the one that I popped the 
drusy in the back of and it'll be interesting to see what happens here because this is kind of a satin finish mold so whether the drusy will even be visible I'm not entirely sure in fact it's nice in the back though these little bits I'll just trim them off so not really made much of an effect it's probably given a bit of texture behind it but not a huge amount because this isn't shiny however of course what you can do is give them a quick coat with some uv resin or varnish or something like that if you do want them to be shiny so what i'm going to do is do that and then we will um, get the v get some photos done and at that point you should be able to see the sparkle better Right, next video. Let me just tell you very quickly about um, something I've got planned coming up. I'm not sure which order I'm doing these in, by the way. Uh, and I have got a bit of a, a backlog to edit and load up. But at some point shortly, I'm going to show you a solution to this dull mould. The satin finish mould. Now, a lot of the time that is what you want. But sometimes you'd kind of like them shiny. And the one I'm going to try and show you with is this little dragon. Simply because he doesn't use much resin. Uh, and he's easy to use and he's cheap mould and he's really cute. I love this little dragon. I have made and sold so many of these. Now when he comes out, he is, as you can see, like a satin finish. Which is lovely in itself. I mean, it does a lovely sort of shift as you move around it. But I would like a shiny version. So, I'll look out for my video on a potential solution to that. Oh God, he's still sticky. I really should have kept put my gloves on. I don't know why that one is still sticky. Uh, come to think of it, I may have poured it quite a long after the long after the other ones. Anyway, clean up. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll show you what, what my thoughts are on um, a another way to solve this matte mould issue. Right, thanks for watching folks. If you give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, drop me some comments below as well. That would be absolutely marvellous. Um, I am in the middle of a run of sort of crystal themed videos. So be they crystals like this or be they um, put things with the druzy in. You know, I've got quite a few ideas. I've got quite a lot of things I want to try in this mould. So, um, yeah, let me know if there's anything, any bright ideas you have that you'd like to see me try. Ones I have got up my sleeve at the moment are what happens if you just put glitter card behind it? And what about mirror card? So I have been frantically, here we are, cutting, well, no, my, my Cricut machine has been frantically cutting, very fine glitter card. I'm going to try some chunky glitter card too. And mirror card. And I've got like a rose gold as well in the uh, the glitter card. So, yeah, dying to see what those look like behind this. Gonna pop him down onto here. Give the little mould a little rinse over. It's come out lovely and clean, by the way. And there aren't any bubbles in the spikes, which is great. That's what I was after. Right, see you for the next one, folks. I'll stop rambling and I'll go and put the kettle on. Bye.